What is up guys, JJ Andrew from Droid Syndicate, bringing you a video to review MyUI version 4, the first alpha for the Sprint Galaxy Nexus. Okay, so once you power on your device, you're going to have the Nexus Live wallpaper. I've changed it to a static wallpaper that is provided in the desktop wallpapers. So let's start off with the lock screen. The lock screen is just like Ice Cream Sandwich, when you press it, it vibrates, and you have an option to go to camera, messaging, phone, or just straight up unlock. So we're going to do that now. And let me tone down my brightness so that you guys can see this better. Okay, so this is your MyUI home screen. You have all your apps spread out. There is no app drawer. So this is just like iOS. It has a really nice iOS look to it, but it combines all the great features of Android. Now, as you can see, on our navigational bar, we have menu, home, multitasking, and back. It does take a little bit to get used to this format, but I have found it to be actually more useful because instead of going straight into settings from here, I can just press that, and I have a lots of choices to edit my widgets, wallpaper, search, preview, launcher settings, and settings. Now, you're going to be using this menu button a lot to customize this ROM. So first off, edit widgets. You can see that we have like a little um, touch whizzy style here. You got your home screens magnified out with your little app strung across down here. So you have a wide um, variety of widgets that you can choose from, but that's not all. You do have um, lots of wallpaper choices. Um, you have desktop wallpaper, and what you actually get are these, and then you can scroll over, you actually have to press online, and they have huge databases full of hottest, latest, and you can actually categorize um, these different desktop wallpapers, but pretty much all the wallpapers are just awesome, HD, and fit perfectly with the ROM and the phone. But, once again, there's more. You have search, preview, and launcher settings. Now preview is just that, and search, you should know what you can do. So launcher settings, um, you can edit the transition effect. I'm not going to go through all of them, but I do have the crossfade one on right now. As you can see, it sort of crossfades through my different ones. Now remember, this is alpha, so when you're going from home screen to home screen, it is sort of laggy and choppy, but don't worry, the developer, I'm sure, is going on really tough to get that fixed and this is actually a port too so this wasn't just developed straight up out of the you know what it whatever it's it, it was a port so it came from uh, probably most likely the Verizon model it was ported from the Verizon model most likely I'm not sure I'm just making an educated guess it was probably ported from a Galaxy Nexus onto the Sprint variant with the right radios and all the right coding and stuff. Um, other settings we get is just our normal settings and as you can see we have complete settings and common settings. Now I'm actually going to check out the common settings first because the complete settings we're gonna save that for last. So common settings is basically just Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, brightness, wallpaper, launcher, volumes, phone ringtone, SMS, receive sound, and accounts in sync. Now, these are your basic settings. That's why it's probably under common that you can choose from. So now if you go to complete settings, you can see that we have airplane mode, mobile networks, pretty much all those settings that you get in just your settings app. So if you go to about phone, you can see that we have the little myui.us logo for the Galaxy Nexus. We're running 4.0.4, dual core 1.2 gigahertz, so it gives you some just some minor specs here. You have SD card storage and you also have status. So you can click on status. You can see that I have 48% battery life and all my other uh, data. And also you can see my baseband kernel and build versions. So now if we want to go home, you can check out our multitasking. Our multitasking is different. Um, it actually goes into a whole nother app. So this is your multitasking app, and you can still slide them out. But what's different is that you do have some different settings in here. So you can go straight to running services. We can go back. Let's see if we press this again. You can actually... Okay, so 
doing that will actually clear all the memory for you. So instead of swiping through all of them, you can actually click that, and that'll sort of wipe all of them. That's probably why it's a paintbrush, because it sort of wipe all of them down. Now, every app is themed. This is what I really like about my UI. If you go into music, and for instance, let's say you want to play a song. Let's see, I should have some preset songs in here. I actually don't. Unfortunately, I can't show you this, but when you play the music, there's actually a audio wave. So there's like these little particles and there's audio waves bumping up and down. So that's pretty cool. Um, this really does sort of mimic iOS and combine it with Android in just a great way. Now the camera app is pretty cool. It reminds me of um, Ice Cream Sandwich. It's pretty much straight up the Ice Cream Sandwich camera app. So there you go. Most apps will get themed in the future and you can also theme them in the theme section. So let's say if you want to click on themes. You can see you have online ones. Your local ones are of course just the stock theme. But online ones you can just really customize the heck out of your phone. You have different lock screens, uh, different icons. So there's so much to choose from. I just can't even fit it into this review. So I'll just give you a really short example. Uh, let's say you want the Sony Xperia theme. You're going to click on that. You're going to download it. That's going to show up in your notification bar. And while we're at it, I'll actually go ahead and show you guys the notification bar. So as you can see, it says download requires Wi-Fi, so I might have to... Uh, looks like I can... Okay, so I can start that now, and then it'll start downloading that. So let's go to our toggles. We have all these cool toggles, and you can always edit these toggles. So this is just awesome of how they did this. So it looks like you can actually customize the toggles position. You can do so much stuff in my UI. You're just going to have to do it for yourself. It, it would take probably 24 hours to make a full detailed review of this ROM to show every single feature. That is how packed in my UI is. And that's really why a lot of people like it. Let's go ahead and check out our download. Um, I did hear Sprint Galaxy Nexus is having some data signal issues. So if you have really slow 3G speeds with the Sprint Galaxy Nexus, it is um, it, there's a fix coming on the way. So you most likely have an update in the next couple of days. Uh, he said that he would try to get it out as fast as he could. But since we're um, rooted, maybe we'll get it sooner. Who knows? But yeah, you can um, mix stuff. So you can mix different themes with different uh, categorizes. You can mix different themes with different categories. That's what I'm trying to say. So let's say you want um, this theme on your lock screen. You can also have a different theme at the same time for your icons. So that's really cool. Let's go ahead and get out of our themes here. And I'll actually show you some apps that you have. You have lots of apps. You have user feedback. And pretty sure you have a MyUI US forums app. And here, MyUI.us, yes, right there. And, oh, it looks like it comes with Reloaded ICS. Okay, so that is awesome. It does come with Reloaded ICS. That is sweet. Okay, so, I don't know, Reloaded ICS. I'm going to go ahead and put that in the description below because that is awesome. You can do lots of stuff with Reloaded. Uh, super user, of course, Google Wallet. Looks like this is just the stock apps that you would get um, on your stock Galaxy Nexus. But uh, yeah, that's really all I can cover in a little 10 minute video. So yeah guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to watch my how to install video if you're interested. And yeah, go ahead and comment if you have a question. I'm sure I missed a million things in this review. So yeah guys, thanks for watching. Uh, thumbs up this video, go ahead and give it a like, I like you guys for giving me likes if you get my drift, and yeah, go ahead and hit that, hit that subscribe button for more, I really am working hard to bring these videos to you guys, I'm always trying to be the first one, be really updated, and really be communicative with you guys, so go ahead and leave a comment, I'll reply no matter what, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all later.